All right, the results are in. So uh, on the YouTube, on our Bone Collector YouTube page, man, we've been, you know, telling you a lot of different things that's been going on kind of day by day, what's been going on at the farm, obviously a little bit on the road. We've kind of been keeping you updated on our Bone Collector filming season. So we did a bow set up. Uh, not even a couple of weeks ago, we got a bow set up on the page to go goes through T-Bone's bow set up, and then we did another one that goes through my Hoyt bow hunting set up. And so obviously uh, when I last did it, I was leaving the next day. Uh, Cohen Stone and I were going to Colorado and on Arizona for elk season. And so I talked about these arrows here that we had just fletched up that T-Bone had put together for me uh, with 17% FOC. I think we we're talking around 500, I'm sorry, 470, 80 grain arrow. Um, 100 grain mega meat so obviously you know arrows is one thing but there's a lot of debate on broadheads on fixed blades versus mechanical and then on that you know how do they open do they flip over do they rear deploy so obviously we took this arrow and I went elk hunting which I think elk is the most resili resilient thing out there so here's the aftermath of a successful hunt full penetration of, uh, of, of this arrow with a mega meat attached. And I will say, obviously, success is in when you punch a tag. The bull was slightly quartering away, actually walking through a gap uh, that'll be seen on Bone Collector later on this season for our new season. But this arrow went all the way through, it buried up. Actually, I didn't even see the knock. It buried all the way up through the air, through, through quartering away, full penetration, and the arrow had to been, this, this knock had to been completely buried up into the center of this elk and this off shoulder is what broke that arrow. So full penetration, I've never in my life seen as much blood. So obviously a lot of times you'll see people trying to sell you product. So I can't say that I'm not trying to sell you this mega meat, but I'm trying to sell it to you based on the tr truth of what it did to that elk. I've never seen a blood trail like this. I mean, just look at it. It was unbelievable. Yeah, I can, I can actually can see this. I'm a colorblind blood trailer. But I just want to show y'all Mega Meat G5. I've never seen blood like this. Mainly because I never see blood. But so all you colorblind hunters, yeah, all you colorblind blood trackers like me, get a Mega Meat, <laughs> Mega Blood. Oh my! I mean, this is. All the way, he went about 80 yards in the whole way. Crazy. Literally, when we tracked this bull up, he went about 70, 80 yards from where I shot him, straight down the mountain. And when we got there, we started laughing because when I covered him, we looked down and our boots were bloody just from walking down the blood trail. So no exaggeration, I've never seen a blood trail like that. I'm red, green, color blind anyway, and so uh, I can't see blood that well. And it was on the Pond, the pine trees going down through there and I've never seen anything like it like a carpet of blood so I guess I just want to share with y'all the results I wanted to let y'all know how this arrow did so this particular arrow weighing about 470 80 grains I think I'm correct I'm sure right, ain't it Cohen yeah yeah 17 percent FOC 100 grain mega meat broadhead and I think we got the first confirmed elk kill with the mega meat not a hundred percent but I talked to Matt Grace at G5 and we think we did so uh unbelievable results and i just want to share it with you guys thank y'all for subscribing to this page y'all keep tuning in we're going to try to keep y'all updated on what's going on kind of behind the scenes of the scene so thank y'all for watching and uh we'll keep y'all posted on what's happening as the gut piles pile up hope y'all having good luck as well